So, yesterday we went swamping. Um, oh, I should say we middle class now, foraging. Um, and we got these lovely figs. And it's very difficult to know how to preserve them for my diet when I don't eat sugar. And most of it's put in sugar and water. So I've got an alternative. It's been um, recommended by Juliet, my nutritionalist, and it's called Sugar Vida, and it's organic Palmyra tree blossom sugar. So we're going to give this a go. So what we're going to do, we've got about a quarter pint of milk in here, and um, water in here, and I'm going to put, that's a, uh, glasses on. That's half a cup. Half a cup of sugar. I'm going to melt that. Oh, I think I've got it up too high. When we first came out to France and had a holiday, we met this lovely lady called um, Juju, who's married to August, who was in her late 70s. And outside the place where we were staying, there was a fig tree. And she said, oh, you know, the, look at all the figs you've got. You need to preserve those for the winter. And, and I'll, I'll show you. Why do I eat figs? Because I've already told a lot of people that I do not eat fruit because of the fructose, because I'm worried that as cancer loves fructose, or should we call him Kevin? Um, Kevin loves fructose. Um, I'm not eating fruit because fructose is the main sugar in fruit. However, figs are not a fruit. Figs are a flower. And if you cut them open, you'll see a flower, the flower in there. And in fact, figs rely on wasps to make holes in them to fertilize that flower. Now, most of the sugar, from my research, most of the sugar, the writer that I believe the most, says that in, in most of the sugar in figs comes from prebiotic fibre. That is to feed my good blue gut bacteria. And so, hopefully, this recipe will work. Now, what she said to do is once you've brought it to the boil, you had to turn it down on a really low heat, so I'm putting it on my number two. Put the lid on, walk away, and leave it for about three hours. So we'll come back then, um, and I'll find something to do for those three hours. So my figs have been slowly cooking on number three for just two hours, not the three hours that I used to do when it had proper sugar in it. This has got the other sugar, and you can see they're bubbling nicely and they are about done. So I'm turning those off now. And I only had one kilna jar and one um, jam jar. Um, so, but I've sterilized those in the oven. And put them in the jars. This is, these are gonna keep for a long time. And now the secret ingredient. Brandy goes in the top, ouch, and you, she set light to it, and then quickly shut the jar um, and to take the um, air out. So I'm just hoping that this is gonna work. So I hope this is not your best brandy, Gordon. Mm, cheers. It's quite nice that, it's been a long time. So I'm going to, right, <laughs> I need to light this, pour that on, shut that with the cloth because it's hot. Right, <laughs> it's going to be fun. First of all, striking a match. Yep, got that bit right. Pour this in. What? Don't want all that. Oops, that's 
pot, pour that on the lid, light the one on the lid, oh, yeah it's lit, is it? Out, yeah it is lit on the lid, and, oops, close it. Ho, 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 ho. These little things up there. There we are. We can try that later on with some ice cream. There's oh, a little bit of brandy left. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> mm.